So if you've ever started working on a Roblox game and you wanted to create a script, you probably click the plus sign, maybe looked up script and saw there's three different types of scripts and you're not too sure on which one to use. So in this video, I'm going to go over uh, what every script is used for and how it's used and when you should use it. So the first one I'm going to go over is server scripts. So server scripts are usually put in the server script service. Um, they usually handle server side logic as like like whenever you want to save data for the player or like save the state of the player or anything like that and if you want anything to happen between all players in the game then that's whenever you want to use a server script so i have a little example of this so let me just disable these scripts so this is the only script that's going to run so if we hit play on this we can see the this cube move up here on the client and if we go to the server as well we can see that the cube is moving on the server so the difference between server scripts and local scripts is that local scripts are only executed on the player. So if we execute this like now, like if our player will see the queue rise, but the server won't know that it's rise. So this is what everyone else in the lobby is seeing. And this is what your player is seeing. So uh, local scripts are really used for um, just things that you want to have to happen to the single player not the entire server and uh local scripts either go on starter player scripts or starter ui if you want to have like a uh, ui that you can open and close in menus and stuff you usually put that in the starter ui put a local script in there all right now on the module scripts now for me i usually put module scripts in the rec replicated storage so that if i need a server script or a uh, local script access that they can module scripts are made for um for basically code reusability so you can use this function or this table from anywhere inside of your scripts or game so that's where these come into use so if you have you know a function that you want to use for multiple different scripts but you don't want to rewrite it a bunch of times you could just put it into a module script and be able to use it from anywhere so an example of this is I have just a simple one. If you have a module script, you have to use require to be able to use it. And then you just reference it normally like anything else. And then you can call a function like I have te test function here. You could just call that. Uh, you do function module and then whatever the module name is, you put here and then you do dot test function or whatever your function name is. And you call it basically the same way inside of any script a local script or a server script that you have so if we hit if we go ahead and enable this and hit play then as you can see it printed everything in that uh model script so this is the test function that i had which is a function and then this was the the value inside of the table that you can use from anywhere and also accessing the table is basically the same as you can see, if we go into here, this is our local script. If we just do like test module, and then if we do like this, one, two, three, or no, it's test. If we do test, then that will return this right here, the one, two, three. So that's how you access that. So that's like this was a kind of like a quick tutorial, you know, just if you wanted to get like a like I guess a summary of it. Um, if you didn't know exactly what these did. Um, I do have a game, I guess, that I could show. This is a game that I'm working on right now. I have a bunch of module scripts that I use, like uh, this one even. This holds like just the, the prices of the, the upgrades that you can get, the dice that you can get in my game. So, you know, you can use, I have a bunch of them. You can put, you know, functions here, like reset data and stuff like that. And another thing, I guess, that or server scripts can do that local scripts can't if you want to save data you have to do that through a server script you cannot do it through a local script yeah i think that's about it if i miss anything please tell me I, and if you have any questions i can answer them in the comments i i'm happy to help you guys so yeah that's a short video and um thanks for watching